Hey, it's 843 on the Good Morning Artesia Radio Show. We are doing our chamber chat segment here today. We kind of recapped Balloons and Tunes weekend, which uh, I did not get a chance to go to the Bulldogs on Review, but I've heard rave reviews about the Bulldogs on Review, so that was part of the Balloons and Tunes. Did either yes. one of you get to go to that? Jeremy went, my kiddo went, my in-laws went, and they said it was fantastic. Good. Yep. Good. Yeah, we had a few pilots attend that t- both told us that it was so good Mm -hmm. and um they were just in awe of what these students have they were like we've we've gone to student performances before where it's just like elsewhere yeah elsewhere not here but yeah (laughs) and they were here and they're like let's go check it out it'll be fun something to do you know and man they thought holy moly these kids just knocked it out of the park you know what's funny is um I, i was told a story yesterday about a person who had some tickets for them from Miss Parker mm-hmm. and the what they went through to hunt her down <laughs> to get the to tickets. Get I saw Danny the other night before the show and he had like a wad of tickets in his pocket. He was just <laughs> <laughs> so I need to tell this person I was talking to, you went to the wrong Parker. Wrong Parker. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Which um, we have a correction to make. Yes. We did not. We were saying that Roadrunners? What Roadrunners? Yeah. Roselawn. Roselawn Roadrunners. Roselawn <laughs> Roadrunners. So uh, we want to make sure that, yes, there are Roadrunners in our T-shirts. Yes. They awesome. Go, they go to Roselawn. Because we have, do we, Central is the Bull Pups. Okay. Roselawn. You're, you're going down Roadrunners. a path. I can't I'll help, help you. you. We got it. We got I it. can't South help you right. Yucca. Yucca. Bulldog Bandits. Bandits. And the fifth one is Super Hermosa Kids. Super Kids. Yes. See, okay. and we have Grand Heights. Eager Beavers. Eager Beavers. Okay. And then everyone else is Bulldogs. Okay. Right? I mean, even at Zia, they're Bulldogs. Sure hope so. We're committed now. <laughs> <laughs> did you get all five? <laughs> we did get all five elementaries, though. Okay. All right, because you're on your own on that one. Yeah, that's fun. You know, when we get to go into these paper takes flight things on at the schools, I love seeing all their cafeterias. They are so fun. Like, Central is all Central Park, Mm -hmm. and they even have a hot air balloon on the wall. So, like, getting pictures with these kiddos with their little paper takes flight balloons in front of the hot air. I don't know. It's just pretty cool. I love Hermosa's cafeteria. All the superhero, super kids, like, bust. It looks like they're busting out the walls. And then Yucca's is, like, a cute little bistro. Bulldog bistro. Bulldog bistro. Very cute. And it has, like, the black and white, even, like, the little... Awnings. Awnings that come up. I mean, it, they just do a good job they decorating do. these cute they did. places. Yep. So. Well, that's neat. Yeah. That's neat. So what know. is uh, next at the Chamber of Commerce? Because we did Ooh. the balloons and tunes. Here are we you? are about two weeks from Thanksgiving. Yes. Crazy. Are you ready? It's so For Thanksgiving? Fun. No, I mean, are you ready to hear what's coming up? Yes, it's I started. asked. <laughs> <laughs> <It's started. laughs> Drum roll. Um, we are raffling off a chance to win. Two thousand twenty-one dollars in twenty twenty-one. Two thousand twenty-one dollars, and it can only be spent here in Artesia, so it has to stay local. Shop okay. local for so the holidays. It's for Chamber Bucks. Okay. Yeah, so we revamped our Chamber Bucks, and were we talking about this online? Her dog Bacon, yeah, is featured as oh yeah front and center Bacon of the is Chamber Bucks. President, Buc- on President our Chamber Bacon. Bucks. Mm-hmm. Well, we took that picture. Mm-hmm. When you came in a few weeks oh, yeah, ago. yeah, yeah. So, did you Chamber get that Bucks. picture? So, um, okay. It's $20 for a chance to win. Mm-hmm. Um, we've got tickets at the Chamber. We can come to you if you can't pop in. You just let us know however many you want. Um, we are, I announced it yesterday in Chamber Chat. We're about to blow up full force on these. Yes, there it is. That's so fun. Um, on That's these Waffles, Chamber brother. Bucks. <laughs> well, Let's talk about how businesses could do Chamber Bucks for holidays. Yeah, so um, not only can you a uh, chance to win this, but yeah, so as a Chamber member, we could take a step back here and talk about what Chamber Bucks are. Okay. Um, so as a member, you can accept these Chamber Bucks as real money. Someone purchases something from you. All you have to do is take that money, take the Chamber Bucks, keep them, please, write your business name on the back of it, hand it back into the chamber. You can mail it, you can drop it off, you can put it in our mailbox outside, whatever you want to do. And then um, we will turn around and write you a check. 
okay. or for real money. So it's real money exchanged back and forth with for product and services, um, but it's a great way to ensure that this money is spent local with, with, with chamber, our chamber members. Chamber members. Yes. Yeah, not just if, local, local, but local chamber, chamber members. So okay. if you're not a chamber member, call us, sign up today. Yeah. It's a very good perk because people can spend it with you. Now, um, do you have to present this on your phone? No. <laughs> No. Is this there a dollar twenty-five? No. Per chamber buck service fee? No. No. Okay. This is like real straight dollar for dollar. Cash, yes. cash is king. Cash is king, right? Okay. Um, but yeah, no. And going back to what Coxie said earlier, is some businesses actually uh, purchase this for their employees for for the holidays because mm-hmm. they they a lot of times they'll call and say, oh, we want to give a Visa gift card or we want to, you know, do gift cards or whatever. Well, mm-hmm. even if you give, say. A Starbucks gift card, they might go to Roswell to Starbucks or stop out of town for Starbucks. Um, you know, I'm just using that as an example, but like, especially, or say Subway, Subway's a member mm-hmm. and they're a local owner of, you know, their their owner is local and you give them a Starbucks card thinking it's going to help local. Well, they might go, I mean, sorry, Subway, they might go to Subway somewhere else. Mm-hmm. So this is a great way legit to ensure these people can go and spend their chamber bucks at Subway here in Artesia, either one, and then they just, Subway brings it to us. And so, then you reimburse Subway. Then we reimburse Subway. So Straight dollar for dollar, no handling fees, mm-hmm. you know, all yep. that good stuff. And so some of the chain ones like Subway, Wendy's, they're chamber members okay. and um, you can do that. And when you, when you win this raffle, mm-hmm. you get a paper that has... Um, all the participating locations and that that will be on there so okay it's pretty fun so for a business uh who wants to give out gift cards we would encourage them to give out chamber Chamber bucks bucks instead instead, and you can purchase those at the chamber Mm -hmm. to give to your employees yeah and what we did in the past is we'll give them you know say they want to give out forty dollars to each employee or whatever it is um we give them the chamber bucks and then we print that same paper that has all of the participating people um, and then they, we print it and they give their $40 with a flyer. Mm-hmm. So they all get that and they all know where they can shop. So it's okay. pretty fun. And so if, and then if you receive the chamber bucks, mm-hmm. any chamber members where you can use the chamber bucks yes. mm-hmm. um, for anything that that merchant sells or provides. Yes, sir. Bring service, it in. Bring it in. Um, so how do you buy a chance in the raffle come buy a raffle ticket from us at the chamber for okay. twenty dollars each okay so one twenty dollar raffle ticket purchase could win you two thousand and twenty one dollars there will also be five one hundred dollar winners okay now is the two thousand twenty one dollars in chamber bucks mm-hmm. okay so you have a one dollar chamber bill we do okay. oh no we have all um, all denom- denominations. denominations. Okay. Yeah. So you, you don't have to, it's not just a $20 chamber no. buck. You've got them in all, mm-hmm. any combination and denominations. Yes. Okay. Well, well cool. and we've, we've had chamber bucks for quite some time. Yeah. Um, but we just revamped the design. Design. Mm-hmm. I like the new design. Looks I know, great. it's kind of fun. So the raffles are, so, and is the only place to buy the raffle tickets at the chamber? So far. We okay. kind of just rolled it out yesterday, but hey. Would you like a stack to sell, Jean? We, we can trust Hannah. Okay. Cool. Not me, but you can trust Hannah. <laughs> we can't trust Jean. No. Okay. No, we, we have, um, I mean, we're welcome to put them all over town, wherever. We, we haven't gotten to that point yet. Yeah. Well, but maybe by place, next week, for sure. If, if you need a place, we'll, okay. we'll help. Sweet. Okay, stop in at KSVP or the chamber as of right now. Okay. <laughs> and get your we don't mind help, because like I said, you can trust Hannah. Okay, cool. we won't give them to you then. No, don't give them to me. I will lose them. And then you're going to come back to me and say, we brought you, uh, you know, 50 tickets and they're gone. We need that money, Gene. We need that money. Pay up. And then or I we'll would meet in the alley. finally be chased out of town. <laughs> People and try and figure out a way to make it happen. Right. For a long time now. And you guys can finally be the ones to make it happen. I had some mobsters stop at my house on Halloween. Oh, yeah. I heard about we that. A them. mobster? We could call Several. them. You said mobster. At first, I thought you said lobster, and I thought, well, that would have been weird. Delicious. Mobsters. <laughs> we could call them if Gene steals our tickets. <laughs> Just kidding. Yep. That'd be great. Okay. So, uh, well, that sounds like fun. People yes. ought to get ready for that and get excited for that. Is there an expiration date on a chamber? Book? When all tickets are sold. Um, not necessarily. I think we 
try to do six months. Okay. Hopefully they spend them for the holidays. Yeah. Well, that's the whole idea. Yeah. yeah. When will the raffle drawing be then? As soon as we sell them all. Oh, as soon as you sell them all. We have about 500. Okay. About. Mm-hmm. We have 500. 490. I sold 10. <gasps> <laughs> well, good for you. Yes. <laughs> yeah, no, we're doing um, We're doing awesome there. Ticket sales are, I mean, like I said, we kind of just rolled this out yesterday. And yeah. Yeah, we're excited. Okay. Well, that's that's great. So um, the 2021 raffle will be is underway. Mm-hmm. Yep. For $2,021 in chamber bucks. But if you're a business who would like to get the chamber bucks for your employee gifts this year, as a probably need to reach out to you guys here pretty quick. Yep. Yes. Because there's not a limit to those. You can sell as many of those as yes, sir. the printer will print. Yep. So, well, good. I sent you the picture. Thank you. I got so. it. So I'm gonna. I don't know if you want to use that or not. I will. But, uh, Heck yeah. Well, I wonder. You know, what would be nice. Um, maybe a business ought to put a poster up in their window that says "Chamber Bucks Accepted Here," yeah. or put it on their website, Ooh, or mention yeah. it on their Facebook page, "Chamber Bucks Accepted mm-hmm. Here," and that would mm-hmm. hopefully encourage people to. Well, and also you can look for the membership diamond in the windows. But that, yeah, that, of Not course. Not necessarily. All those ours fell off the window over the weekend. <gasps> Oh, no. Is it, it's because it's almost time for the 2022 diamonds, right? <laughs> yeah. They only last a year. Sometimes the suction cups just, it, the temperature changes uh, in yeah. the glass, and it just went, and it came in in the morning, and there it was. Good thing they're not made of glass. That would be it's fine. a mess. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if you had something like that. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, uh, ask if a business is a chamber member, if they, or you see the chamber member. Diamond. Diamond mm-hmm. say, well, I have chamber bucks. Can I spend them here? And yeah, they- and we even have some, like, um, for instance, Damsel in Defense just mm-hmm. joined the chamber not too long ago. Okay. And so she sells self-defense products mm-hmm. as a um, kind of like a home business type, kind of a Mary Kay type thing. Right. And she still is even accepting chamber bucks. Okay. So... I well, mean, speaking of new members, you have two new members in your chamber chat. We do. Well, we actually have three, and one of them will be in next week's. Okay. It just happened. And so, yeah, we have the two from this week. Agape Floral LLC mm-hmm. and Sparks Office Solutions. Yes, they're out of Carlsbad. Agape Floral is here. Okay. And um, we also have the Dirty D's Customs. Okay. So that'll be on the chamber chat next week. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. We're excited. It's a good time. It is. Um, I want to put in a plug for these guys, too. How do you say that? Drop time. Drop time. Um, They will decorate your house with Christmas lights. You can call them at 513-0607 or 513-4691, and they'll decorate your house with lights. Drop time. Holiday lighting. All right. I have a follow-up question. Will they undecorate? <laughs> I Ooh, would assume. Come back and get the lights. Yeah. I would sure hope so. Because, I mean, that sounds like a wonderful service. I don't have time to mess with it. I don't want to mess with it, you know. If they want your business next year, they better come back and take them down. Jaron or Brandon is who you can ask for. Let's go. Let's go, Brandon. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's Poor go, Jaron and Brandon. <laughs> Can you say that nowadays? I guess you can. Well, their initials, Jaron and Brandon. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Get it? Yikes. Yeah. Yeah. So there's all kinds of fun stuff going on. <laughs> all right. What else do we have to talk about? I know. I feel like there is more. Well, there's, uh, I know this is a Main Street event, but there's the Veterans Day mm-hmm. program. This weekend. And so JJ Thursday. Home Care. Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, Veterans Day, J&J Home Care is doing their annual pancake breakfast at the TLC Okay. from 7 to 10, I believe. Okay. So go have breakfast with the veterans. And then um, 11 o'clock, so 11, 11 at 11 is going to be the ceremony at Beige Park. Okay. On Thursday. Thursday. Yes. Did I say a different day? Well, you could talk about this other pancake thing. That's on Thursday as well. That's on Thursday as well? Okay. Well, you said this weekend. Yeah, you started out saying this weekend. It's okay. 11-11, you know. 11-11. Okay. I think that's what was messing me up because it's technically not the weekend. It's (laughs) It's it's Friday Eve, (laughs) Jean. Friday Eve. (laughs) (laughs) True. No, Thursday, 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. 
Pancakes. T- TLC Pancake Breakfast hosted by J&J Home Care. Okay. And then after that, go out to Beige Park at 11 o'clock. That's right. To celebrate our veterans. That would we be We have fun. a lot of veteran-owned chamber members. I wish I had a list of them right now for there, us to talk about. There is something this weekend, though, for the veterans. That there is, this is. Boots and Badges. Boots and Badges is this weekend, so. That's right. So there's lots of. I have that. Lots of. Ex- I have that. It's right here. Right here. Boots and Badges, 1 o'clock. Sun Country Home and Garden. Cool. They're going to have booths. They're mm-hmm. going to have Guadalupe Mountain Brewing, which is the same people who were here for Red Dirt Black Gold. So if you had beer at the Beer Garden at Red Dirt Black Gold, it's the same people mm-hmm. coming up from Carlsbad. Okay. And um, yeah, just go support them. Have a good time. Food trucks, vendors, beer gardens, silent auction, kids play area, and so much more. So it's one o'clock on uh, Saturday. Saturday. If you're not going to the uh, football game. Correct. Which is... At 1.30. One, one, one o'clock. One o'clock as well. Yeah. I'm guessing that's where Coxie's going to be. With bells on. At the football game. <laughs> I was hoping people would bring their cowbells out for oh, our next growl. Year. We next need time. to encourage that. Okay. We want to get rowdy. That's right. Growl. That's mm-hmm. right. All right. Thanks, Gene. Thank Thanks, you so Jean. much. We'll see you next time. See you next cool. time. This is KSVP RT.